We've got the latest news coming in. At least 97 people have been killed after a Pakistan International Airlines passenger plane flying from Lahore crashed into a residential area of Karachi. As per the PIA spokesperson, the plane was carrying 91 passengers and 8 crew members and was en route from Lahore to Karachi. The flight took off from Lahore airport at around 1 p.m. local time. It was attempting to land at the city's Jinnah International Airport at around 2.40 local time. Now the plane was asked to do a go-around after the captain informed the air traffic controller about a technical snag. But as it went around again, the plane lost its engines and issued a mayday call. According to preliminary information, the plane crashed because of its landing gear failing to deploy. The plane was trying to make a belly landing when it came down among residential houses. The crash sparked an explosion, sending plumes of smoke into the air. Several houses and cars have been damaged in the residential area near the Jinnah International Airport in Karachi. Authorities deployed army helicopters for damage assessment and rescue efforts. Urban search and rescue teams have also been conducting their operation to locate and rescue any possible survivors. That's the tweet put out by Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that an immediate inquiry shall be instituted to probe the cause of this incident. Joining us on this broadcast is uh, Vion's Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik who is getting us all the latest information from Ground Zero. 97 people have been killed. But Anas, we are also learning that there are two survivors from this deadly crash. We are seeing the visuals on our screens. It was a deadly crash. At least 97 are dead. But what's the latest you're picking up as far as the investigation is concerned? Do we know the exact cause of this crash? A little bit too early to speculate the exact cause of the accident, uh, but uh, uh, an inquiry committee into this matter has been constituted by the Pakistani uh, government. The aviation division has constituted a four-member inquiry committee. Uh, similarly, uh, separately, in fact, and a special investigation board or an SIB would be constituted as well. And we're expecting a notification later today in this regard uh, of that. That would be an independent body as claimed by the uh, PIA CEO Arshad Malik yesterday while addressing a press conference. Uh, if you talk about these air crash and rescue operations, well, all of the 90, uh, uh, well, uh, 97 bodies have been recovered. There are two survivors who are, uh, who, who have miraculously survived in this air crash. Uh, one is the CEO of Bank of Punjab, Mr. Masood. The other is an engineer, uh, Mohammed Zubair, who has both have miraculously survived. Uh, with minor injuries and burn wounds that uh, that has been reported. About 25 houses have been damaged. This is what the Pakistani military spokesperson uh, 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 has tweeted as well. Additionally, if you talk about uh, uh, about the nature of the, or uh, this, uh, this accident, uh, well, uh, uh, since I was there yesterday, I've been covering it. It was an AC-20. It, it was an unprecedented uh, air crash that took place because the PIA has been claiming that the aircraft was fit to fly uh, uh, and that it had uh, done a flight as early as as it is as just day before yesterday, as in a day prior to its accident. So PIA is claiming that uh, PIA is claiming that there was nothing to worry as such when it came to the maintenance of this or health of this aircraft. Its A check was done as late as as March 2020 A mm -hmm. or the Alpha check. Okay. Uh, now, if you talk about the rescue operations, the Pakistan Army led those rescue operations. They were at the helm of it. Uh, they had a special team as well of urban search and rescue. Uh, uh, the, 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 they had a special team. Another team that was that had been flown in from 
uh, Islamabad as well. Hmm. Uh, then we, ha- we had uh, uh, the uh, Rangers, the Pakistan uh, police, then the rescue, uh, the other uh, rescue uh, uh, frontline workers that were part of this rescue operation. And 97 bodies have been recovered. There are two survivors. All in all, there were 99 people on board of this plane. 91 were passing passengers, 8 were crew members, which included two pilots and uh, six uh, flight attendants. All of the bodies have now been recovered. Yes, uh, Shobit. Right. Anas, uh, you know, flight, domestic flight resumptions had been allowed just recently by Pakistani authorities uh, ahead of Eid holidays because thousands of people are uh, wanting to go to different parts of the countries to be with their families uh, as the Eid holidays approaches. Um, has there been a decision taken regarding the other flights uh, in Pakistan? Do they continue to operate at the moment? Well, uh, the, uh, the other flights they continue to operate as per normal course. The, uh, I'll just take you back in time. Just last uh, Saturday, exactly a week ago, uh, domestic flights resumed and they are operating at minimal capacity uh, because earlier Pakistan used to, uh, Karachi used to operate about 369 flights a week to other parts of the city, uh, of the country and currently there are about only 68 flights that are to only to limited to about four other airports of the country. Uh, so uh, that, that tells you the magnitude of the decline of flights that Pakistan has been. Additionally, these flights are operating at a 60% capacity, uh, ensuring the SOPs and social distancing norm. And uh, I believe this is the new normal because I was on a PIA flight myself uh, to Karachi on uh, Tuesday, just this past Tuesday, about three days prior to this unfortunate crash. And I can vouch that there was social distancing that was being ensured. So uh, even after the crash, there were you know, we saw the visuals as well coming in from passengers who were part uh, of, a, of other, uh, who, who were on board other air, uh, airlines or other uh, flights and landing to Karachi and they right. had taken those aerial shots as well. So it was business as usual, though there have been some checks that have been in place after this uh, unfortunate or unfortunate crash. And, but for now, there has been no decision to halt or, or uh, ban any flights that were, that, uh, uh, were earlier resumed uh, exactly a week ago. And uh, given that you have mentioned Eid, because Pakistan, uh, in all likelihood, uh, there would be Eid in Pakistan tomorrow, okay, subject to moons, I think it's not tomorrow, then on Monday. This is exactly what makes the tragedy even more worse, because uh, about right. 100% people who were flying in, including those survivors who were flying back to Karachi, were, do, were, uh, were of the opinion that they had to celebrate Eid with their families. And just a minute before landing, everything changed. And that is what makes the tragedy even more worse. Yes, Absolutely. Sure. Anas Malik, uh, thank you so much for getting us all the latest on the investigation. Our thoughts go out to the victims and, the f- and their families who have suffered in this tragedy.